Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Actually, you know what? Fe can I just say, can I say fellas? Can, and I'll pop up the uh, the demographics here on the screen real quick. But fellas, it's just us guys here. We're back in Satisfactory today. And there's a few things. Well, there's one main thing that I want to do today as we're standing here in this cage for these guys. And, and let's work on that, right? And so last time we did a, a few things, you know, we kind of started working our way up, but, but I got, I got to, I got to get this thing more functional so that we can finally start working on the starter factory. So before we hop into that, do me a quick favor, just scroll down and hit that subscribe button. Uh, us guys, we got to stick together and help me get to 1000 subs. You know, that's, that's my goal. And hopefully you can help me do that. So with that out of the way, let's hop right into this. And of course, we can't start anything off without seeing what chat has for us. And uh, okay, aluminum casings, that's a, that's pretty nice. So let, let me go in here and kind of talk through the plan and we'll see how far we get today. The goal is to get this pretty dang close, if not all the way finished. So if it looks a little dark in here, I've been playing with the global illumination, you know, like the lighting, making the lighting look a lot better. Um, but I want to do a lot of work in here today, like I mentioned before. And you'll notice, uh, nothing is running right now. Why, why is nothing running? What if I just... One of your power grids has shut down. Well, that's not good. Uh, yeah, we'll need to figure that out. I wonder why. I mean, you got no water... You know what I'll probably need to do? Now, Now these are kind of on their own little network right now. I'm, I'm probably going to have to go uh, hook this back up. But let's kind of talk through the plan, right? Even before this shutdown, we are having water issues. In fact, let's go down there and take a look. First off, I want to point out that I did go back. Oh my gosh. Mid-sentence, mid I'm being distracted. But you see the, the red lights casting on the concrete back there? Like right there? So cool. Anyway. Last time, I, I kind of just slapped all this stuff together, right? And, uh, well, it's in the state it's in now because I decided to redo everything. <laughs> I, I did not like it. I, I didn't like the way those were set up or anything. So I ripped out all those water extractors. Uh, upstairs should still be existing, but I, I, I figured out a different way to run the coal here, right? So you'll notice we have these two lines coming out from this wall here. So really what I did is I just kind of follow those back to down in here and then I just rerouted them under this floor and out this wall right here. So that's kind of a cleaner way for them to migrate and get out that way. And that's, you know, they're still going to go up there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to replace the water extractors and, and all that stuff. But let's kind of look at the pipes though. These are an issue right i put in valves they mm, i'll say they didn't really work right the the main issue here and and what i think is happening now fluids are kind of tricky to begin with right but if we look down here you'll notice we we kind of have this one central pipe going down the middle and you might also notice it's mark two right i unlock mark two pipes i i made that mark two can hold 1600 uh, or I'm sorry, not 1600, 600 water, right? Mark one pipes, 300, mark two, 600. These three guys are making 360 water, which if we do our math here, 360 divided by 45, oh, wow, well, look at that, eight. Well, we have eight coal generators up there. So that's perfect. That's the perfect amount of water. But what I'm noticing is that uh, bec the way this water is flowing, one or two of these in the middle tend to not get enough water and so what i want to do here is make this more of a i guess we can call it a manifold design and here's how i'm planning on doing this right uh and this is this design will involve a few different things uh, so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to rip out all these pipes right and i'm going to use um, what am I going to use? These guys, right? Stackable pipelines. And I'll just kind of make a... Uh, I'm just going to kind of make this 
as a demonstration before I rip all this out, right? If we look here, what I can do is I can take this pipe and have it go like that. In fact, if I put another one of these down, you'll get a better sense on what, what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do something like this. And what, how this is going to work is I'm going to have probably right about maybe a little bit farther over, kind of out here, I'm going to have this kind of structure set up. A bottom pipe, a top pipe. The bottom pipe will attach to the water extractors. So what that means is all three of these water extractors, it, it would be as if I took off these junctions and these pipes from this pipe as it exists. I want to move it over for spacing a little bit, which is why I'm going to take it out. But essentially, all three of these will put 360 water into the bottom pipe. Then what will happen is that will go up and then we will have an upper pipe that follows the exact same route. From that upper pipe, you might notice, right? That's kind of a strange, you know, if we if we kind of mess around with this, right? It's not really like a, uh, I think that's, let's at least try to get this close so we can kind of see. There's not really a good way to connect these pipes and make them look good, right? Like, yeah, I can do that, whatever, right? Or, I can line this back up and go up one. Now, that's basically a straight shot. I think that looks a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remake all of these like this, which means I have to tear all this out. Now, there's another thing that we have going against us right now. We have to overcome the head lift of where these water tractors are to the coal up there. I have been watching a ton of videos, not on pipes necessarily, but the pipes have come up in some of these videos by these really super smart people. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of all of these pumps, right? And I'm going to take one pump and put it on the bottom like that. That will provide enough head lift for everything else above it in the whole manifold. So I'm taking eight pumps, which take four, uh, four megawatts each, right? Uh, let's look. Yeah, four megawatts each. So I'm going from 32 to four megawatts to pump all the water up. And you'll notice we're eventually going to have to times that by, by two. So I'm going from 64 to eight megawatts of power. Why is that significant? Well, number one, that's less pipes. This will kind of look cleaner and everything like that. Number two, uh, that means that in a scenario where we need to restart this factory, like right now, we're gonna have, you know, eight, eight megawatts there. We're gonna have, what? Well, I mean, this will be a little bit more, right? 60, you know, 100, so 128 megawatts to turn all these water tractors on and both pumps. That seems like a lot, but that's like five or six biomass burners. Easy, right? And one nice thing is that because belts don't take any any uh, power, we really just need to get the water flowing again, right? That's the biggest thing. So that's that. But I'm going to take this same principle and apply it to the water we have to send up there, right? So you can see you can see the old pump line, right? I, I've kind of started taking out. I don't like the way that looks. In fact, let's kind of go. Well, we, we will go up there, but uh, let me kind of, I guess, talk through this again. Uh, what I want to do also is I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to kind of maybe do something similar where I have, if you look over here, we kind of have this lower layer. And my God, with, with the global illumination on, the dark water looks so freaky. Just side note. Uh, so we have this lower layer. Well, it's not really over here, but it's it's closer to the middle. Where, right there, that we're using to put a grid so we can snap these to the grid. And then we have this foundation right here, this two meter, that's just sitting on top. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that and move it over. So that over here, we have the same kind of building area, right? 
So, you know, I can just kind of zoop all that down. And then I can take these water extractors and uh, probably actually fill them in from that side. But, you know, we can we can kind of just squish them in as much as we can without looking crazy, you know, like that. Like that's crazy. But, you know, something like, I don't know, something like that. Like that gives us enough room to, to essentially do the same thing that we're going to do here. The same kind of double pipeline thing. But this has... The Mark II pipelines have a, another... Well, I guess you can do some Mark I's too, but... The pipeline pump, pump Mark II. Now you'll notice, I have eight of the... Whatever they are. What, what are they? The heavy modular frames, right? That, uh... We just so happen to have those from, from flying around and, and getting them in the world. Got some motors, got some plastic again. So we have very limited supplies, but... Those Mark II pumps give you 50 meters of head lift, which I think we're only going to need maybe two of them to get all the way up instead of the, you know, one, two, three, four sets of Mark I's, right? So the idea is I'm just going to make the exact same thing as here. Put the pump line, the, the Mark II pumps down here and just kind of help them go up. And let, let's actually, let's go up there and kind of talk about the design of all that. And I don't know if you guys noticed also while we're heading up there, I, I redid the belt or not the belt, the, this guy right here, the catwalk a little bit. It's a little bit farther to the side, but I did that because I wanted it to line up better with those stairs up there. Since we got rid of the original catwalk, the original um, catwalk here was like, it, it was basically like these stairs came halfway. So it was like, kind of where that line is and where this line is. That's where it went and it just looked all jacked up. So uh, that's the plan down here. I'm also gonna, I, I wanna put lighting in here. You know, I'll probably end up doing, maybe the, these are just gigantic, right? And I, I don't want that necessarily. Same thing with these. Although, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll kind of figure. Well, I'll, I'll probably end up using, uh, maybe even, well, small billboards are kind of big, but who knows? I mean, who knows? But what is... J just, you know, just for... Let's see here. If we just white this out. We're just doing everything white. F, 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 F. There we go. We do this. And we go none. And we do three glossy layout just white how much light does that give that's actually kind of impressive with the global illumination on so maybe i mean what if i uh what if i do two uh not quite as good okay so we'd want to go three Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe maybe I'll either use those or smaller lights or whatever, but definitely lighting down here because, I mean, look how dark it is without a light on, right? So let's come up here. Uh, we'll go up this way and kind of talk design, right? So there's a few things I want to do. Number one, kind of finish off little bits and pieces up here with the design. Um, I, I need to hook all of these up to the wall here. I need to take that power line, which is going up. I don't know if you can see it. That one. That one needs to go get replaced. I need to put... I want to put those on the wall, right? I want to get rid of this box because I think it looks kind of dumb. And just have those go down. But what's also nice, the way these are set up now... They're set up to take two, because we're going to have six total water extractors for all the generators on the upper level. So they're set to take two water extractors each. So there's three, was that, three 240 pipes? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to two 360 pipes. Is that right? Three 240? Yeah, that's 720. 720 divided by two is 360. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do three or I'm sorry, two 360 pipes. So I'll probably get rid of this 
outer pipe and just use the inner ones, right? So there's all that. Um, I've also been kind of, kind of working on some little passages here. So I, I've been looking for a way to kind of get in and out of the back area here, right? So like if you want to come in and kind of do maintenance or whatever, and then, you know, I want to fill all this in, all the decor and all that, right? So, you know, just kind of putting little passageways around and, you know, I'm going to probably put one somewhere over here or something to where you can kind of just pop out, you know, make it kind of look like, like this one, right? If I put like a half foundation, I don't know. Where's the, maybe not quite. Uh, you know what? I mean, I could do like that. And we just kind of slide it out like that. Then at a glance, when you're coming up, you're not necessarily... I mean, you see it now, but you're not necessarily always going to know what's going on. God, you know what? I might put... I might put like a, a floodlight, like right... Ooh, or a street light. Like some kind of light. Because this, you should be able to kind of walk around like I have up there, right? Although those aren't very strong lights. But anyway... The idea is that, you know, the the access points kind of blend into the terrain and into the environment. And so you don't necessarily notice them, right? And then uh, I want to take this walkway and put it up and over so that we can access the other generators over there. So that's kind of the plan there. But uh, let's go upstairs, all the way upstairs. So we have the outside here. And we did this all the last episode, right? You see all the, the work down there. This, this is all going to get removed as well, right? I'm going to redo all of this because I don't like this piping. And uh, I'm going to, this is all going to be done on a live stream. So yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> this is just a lot of busy, tedious work and I want to redo it all, right? But it's going to be the same concept, right? You're going to have one manifold but it'll be a Mark II pipe that takes all the water. And, and same thing over here. Um, I, I'm going to end up probably hollowing out this bottom area. Kind of taking all these out. And then, I, I don't know. Maybe do some kind of design. Like, there, obviously there will be some kind of design. And then eventually, you know, we have this. God, this is just so gross. Um, I, You know, we have this laid out right in here. Which is, maybe we go down a level or something, but this could be used, this will be used for the the battery bank and the, the biomass burner factory from all, all of that stuff right there. And uh, there's one other thing, one other little uh, passage that I want to get set up, and it's right, it has to do with, like, this guy right here. I want, here, we'll, we'll make sure we go down nice and slowly and safely I want to make it so that when you're coming up here and just to kind of show you where we are right that's kind of the catwalk we have our big balcony out here where you can kind of oversee everything out this way I want to make it so that when you come up here I'll probably put some railing make it safe when you come up you know you have two options right you can go down this way which I mean do we need to maybe make that glossy huh I can't tell if it's making it brighter. I might have to update those. I mean, it looks kind of crazy, right? But the idea is you come up and you can use, you know, maybe you come out. Um, let me just grab something here. Yeah, maybe you come up, I don't know, here-ish. Let's, uh, yeah, maybe do that. And then you go to some stairs. I don't know. Maybe about that high. We'll put a maybe a side door here. Oh, actually, let's change it to this. By the way, this just reminded me. I <laughs> the, the, in one of the streams there was a really good comment about how you can change the default material. 
if you're in your build menu and this was this is a shock to me so if you already knew this like disregard this right but you can change this little drop down and it'll give you the default so if you change this to concrete then when you go build it oh uh one meter wall it, it's concrete So that's how you can change all of your key bindings, right? To the concrete stuff or whatever you want. So anyway, so it is, you kind of come out this way. It's a nice, nice looking view. You'll kind of see the architecture up there, but then you can kind of come out, you know, and and get into the, the backup power station. So I just, I don't know, I think that's just like a cool little you know, it's just a, a whole matter of making it all feel connected. And I want to still do some kind of passageway from down there up to whatever this facility is up here, right? So that's all going to be the work. So I'm going to get working on a lot of the this tedious stuff. And I, because this is all, this isn't like a, I don't know, it's not like a formula on how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to kind of figure it out as I go. Uh, we're just going to kind of boot to it. I know some people like to watch the build. And when we start working on Starter Factory, we're going to do that. Like a lot more build stuff. And I'll kind of be a little bit more explicit about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But be when you start getting into kind of design and, uh, you know, opinion and things like that, it's just it's just easier for me to boot it. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay. So we're looking <laughs> a little bit different. Okay. We are still... A work in progress this is you know off camera time a whole live stream which by the way if you're interested in watching the live streams uh i i stream both on twitch and youtube simultaneously but also this all the live streams on youtube save on the live tab on the channel so you can go ahead and check that out you can watch me doing a lot of this work uh but yeah we we're looking a little different now what is what is that guy oh it's just a wall uh yeah so let's kind of I guess let's go downstairs and work our way up. All right, so I want to give you the whole experience again. We still have our signs on the wall here because we're, you know, horrible uh, sign people. But uh, yeah, added. So I added a little bit more kind of access, you know, kind of an easier way to get back here. Uh, kind of finalized these passageways down here that I was kind of showing before. So, you know, I might make these save files available in, at some point. And I can even do it in stages, so you can kind of walk through and, and see it. But uh, yeah, so easy way to get back and forth. You know, you can kind of access all your stuff if you need to. And then, let's see here. If we go down, you kind of... I, I've started using some painted beams to... For a couple of reasons, actually. To decorate, but also as somewhere to put all of the... Uh, power connectors and you'll notice not a pump in sight and that's because we did this guy right here so this is what I was talking about and again I'll kind of just walk through it real quick water extractors are pumping into these junctions into a 600 pipe the 600 pipe has 360 water in it with a single mark one pump right and you you should see it gets head lift is exceeding recommended level We'll just pretend we didn't see that. <laughs> so there's actually, I mean, there's a couple ways that you can fix this, right? I think if I bring it up, if I kind of extend this out and bring it up, it seems to be going okay. Let's let's actually look. So, well, actually, I don't know what's going on here. So right now we have the power in two grids. We have. The bottom level grid is one, and then we have the top level grid, which is another one. And the bottom level grid looks like it has all of the water extractors on it. Because we are doing, let's see, we're doing uh, 6, 12, so 12 times 30 is 360. Oh no, 12 times 20 is 240. Plus one, two, two pumps, right? Same thing here. 
And then what do these pumps do? Uh, logistics. These take eight, and we have like four of those. So that's probably where all the power is going. But it it was doing okay. It, it's, it's kind of been fine. We should see it at about 1,200. And I'm wondering if it's the, if the pump issue. But I think this is this this setup is a lot easier to troubleshoot than the other one. So I, I think it's just a matter of kind of tweaking it. And this should probably say the same thing, right? See, this head lift is a little bit less. Oh, but there we go. So, I mean, I guess another thing I could honestly do, stack this up, make those go up again, right? Because they go up. This is only two clicks, but I can go up a, a two more clicks, right? But anyway, it it pretty much works. And here's kind of what we ended up doing for the stuff going up, right? Again, we're consolidating two sets of three. They are going. We got the Mark II pumps right there. Uh, let's see. Can we see what their head lift is? Yeah, their head lift 41.6. So that's going up there. We have the power lines kind of riding the wall there. Let's let's actually go up there and kind of look. I, I like the way that looks a lot too. So I've also like painted a lot too, right? And uh, didn't didn't get this quite fleshed out yet. I'm gonna be honest. I just kind of stopped it up there. But we'll we'll work on that. But yeah, you can kind of see. I mean. It, Everything's green right now. So it just kind of takes a little bit to get going. And then this one was the kind of one of the last ones I hooked up. So I think it's kind of still uh, trying to, to figure itself out and kind of equalize and all that. But you'll see, like, it'll, it'll get to green and then kind of yellow. And I think it's just going to take time for it to, to saturate. Uh, one other thing I can do that I thought about doing, maybe I just slap a... Uh, a power shard in one of those like one extractor for each one just put extra water in the whole system we'll see but this is kind of the main the main show right here as far as this area goes i kind of just close this off with this grate here that is a blueprint by the way uh it's these wall baffles that i made this is super easy to make so if you're if you're interested in kind of some of these blueprints i have let me know down in the comments but but yeah, th I think this looks a lot cleaner. You know, they kind of just they kind of shimmy over. And, you know, we still have the over max height uh, conveyor lift. I, I think I showed that in a couple other or a couple of videos ago. But yeah, so we only need one more kind of set of pumps. And what's really cool is when you have these in hologram mode like this, it'll show you where the head lift kind of maxes out. Um, I'm not going to do that because these have been so fickle. But I, I did a really cool thing where the the power down below... In fact, let's just go down here. So this power, I think if we go back here, kind of showing how the hot dog, the sausage is made, right? So the power from down there comes up. Right? It goes through the wall. And it goes to right here. Because this is a double-sided outlet, right? Is that... Um, yeah, I mean, we could do this. You should be able to see it, right? So you see it goes through to that one. And, uh, and then it just goes up. But that's how we're getting power from down low to up high. And it just kind of follows on the inside there. So I think that's pretty cool. And then we'll go through our, you know, our little setup here. We want to go up here. Kind of take our little exit. I'll probably wall this off more. In fact. You know, just kind of... Kind of make it feel... Like it's supposed to be here. Maybe one more. What do you think? A player's in the way? No, no a player is not in the way. You know, it. Kinda, I, I like this because it's almost like secret back rooms, you know? Uh, but we'll come up here, we'll pop out, and then we'll head up. But yeah, just kind of trying to finish out this a little bit more. I still want to think about lighting. Maybe I'll get those big overhead lights for right here. Or, or something. Let me know what you think down in the comments about the lighting. Uh, yeah, so then we go up. And again, this has all kind of been here, but I kind of finish it off by adding the, the railings, so to speak. And, and, you know. and again, these are just 
a one meter wall with a ramp wall on top to give you that little extra bit that sticks up over the uh, the slope there. And yeah, so we'll go up. And I, I really like this shot right here, like this area. I, I don't know, something about it just looks really cool to me. And you know, you can kind of get those views out there when the lighting is good. And you'll notice I took the things out of the middle here because I just didn't really like them, honestly. And I, I wanted to kind of make this a little showcase part too. Where, you know, you see the water and you can kind of check the status. You see the coal flowing over here. Um, actually. I want you to be a Mark III. I've been making these Mark III belts, by the way. Because I don't, I don't know when we're going to remake all this stuff. But when we do, I, I, I want the Mark III belts to already be flowing. In fact, do I need to, and I made, well, this right here. Uh, we're going to do this. all mark three or four conveyors so I have to get the bottom part too no it went all the way okay cool oh how's this one this way yeah so uh, you know I made this so that you can kind of when you're coming in because this is going to be one of the main entrances so when you come in you kind of have this area where you can kind of look down you have almost like this observation deck area where you can kind of see what's going on a little bit uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I think it's really cool. And look, at the right angle, you can even see through the baffles. So, I don't know, I just thought that was all really cool. And then over here, you know, this is kind of where we just came from. And we have a couple options here. This is going to be just kind of like the maintenance level. But you can see I kind of cleaned this all up as best I could. And kind of same thing, right? You got the pipes going in there. I didn't touch a lot of the belts because I thought they were pretty fine. And then, you know, we're just running, running all our stuff in here. But it's just a whole lot cleaner in here now. Like, it's a lot easier to kind of diagnose if you have to. So let's get back out of here. You'll notice that side's open. We haven't, again, this is all, because this is such a long process, uh, it's rare that I'm going to be completely done every time I show it. Because, you know, I, I like, I kind of like bringing you guys along for the journey too, right? And now we have this new bridge here that kind of goes to our first power tower here. And uh, one of the things I still need to do is connect both the down, the downstairs and the upstairs onto the same grid and get that over to here in a way that kind of looks good. And then start running the power out that way. And you, I mean, you can see the starter factory. It's looking, you know, nice, looking good. Uh, let's actually, we're gonna jump off here a little bit and I want to kind of show you the approach, right? So the idea is you can kind of come up here and you'll see this tower, you know, you'll see like this whole setup. These lines will go away because it'll be transmitted through there. But I, I wanted it to feel like, you know, you've got this, this arched opening here and this is kind of, I don't know, maybe I'll put a door in there. Uh, I still need to figure out how I'm going to end this off. We'll figure it out. I just got to, you know, I just got to mess around with it, but maybe I'll put a door in here. But yeah, this, this big arched opening to kind of not impede your progress through here. Uh, I, I rounded this off a little bit and just tossed some pillars on there. I think that looks pretty good. Over here, you know, I'm kind of struggling with this. It's, it's short enough that I think it looks okay, but it also still feels kind of blocky. But it is 45 degree angles, so that's kind of good. Uh, I threw this staircase down here because I want... You know kind of like another entrance area and i'm debating about leaving a lot of this just kind of open like this you know this is you know what's this well these are the stairs we, we came from right this is where we were god with the global illumination on i'm really noticing how much i need lighting and then yeah i kind of filled all these guys in and uh added some glass over here with some painted beams these are on different levels now so they kind of you know, just feel a little, a little bit more interesting, and you know, the the glass levels are different as well. Uh, still haven't, still haven't got to that. I, I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. But yeah, I mean, if you'll notice, let's see. This is 600. So yeah, these, these ones and these ones aren't even connected either, right? Because these ones I started running over here, and I just need to extend that network out. You know, just run that over here. In fact, maybe we can just do that right now, and I'll kind of show you. 
So there's at least a little building in this episode. It's not just me showing off things and talking about things, right? So let's... What I want to do... I'm going to do something like this. Something like that. And then I like to just literally kind of line them up. You know, I'm kind of like... I want to get as close as possible. And they're all going to cut off once I get rid of the power. Okay, power poles must go. And then we literally just need to hook them back up. So we hook these two up, and we just go down the line, right? And they'll, they'll kick on. The minute they're producing power for something, they kick back on. Wiring is something that, you know, you, you can kind of get lost doing. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to claim that I'm a, an amazing wire person. But I, I, I think I do a, an okay job of kind of making it blend in. And there you go. Perfect 1200 watts, megawatts, just how it should be. Um, let's actually, here... <laughs> There is at least one design element that I did do for this, and it's over this way. So I took inspiration from a, a YouTuber I saw called Sir Crab, if you're interested to kind of see where I got this inspo. But this is kind of a feature, a, 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 my take on a feature he made for one of his, he made this really cool like circular storage area. And uh, yeah, so I decided to just kind of take some inspiration for it, from it and make this kind of like get it, this depth this wall with some depth in it and I'll, I'll you know kind of in fact i can just show you i'm showing i'll show you how i'm doing it uh so these are just big concrete pillars i'm taking a two meter foundation right and then more concrete pillars and we're just zooming those down all the way to the ground and then i'm taking half foundations and this is, this is not how he does it. And I'm doing the backside, so it's... Nope, I want vertical. And we're just bringing those down, right? And then I... Well, yeah, we'll do this. And then I'm taking these and kind of setting it in. That's going down. And then I'm taking an inverted ramp. And this is the hardest part, honestly. And there, just doing that. Now, there is a there is a variation of this where, you know, I'm grabbing like a regular ramp and and putting it at a certain height, maybe maybe right there, you know. Oh, what what did I just hit? And we're kind of pushing it in there. Right? And then I can take a like a 4 meter foundation and try to snap it to the bottom of that. It's like it's a, it's a little tricky, you know. Locking and nudging is your friend, and I think that looks pretty good. This is closer to what Sir Crab did, and you know maybe at this height, that's where I keep going. I I, I may uh, round that off, or I, I don't know, make that square. But yeah, so that's like kind of the architectural element of this of this section, and I guess before we go. Let's let's make an effort right now to connect both sets of power grids because next episode I want to start doing starter factory stuff and you know I don't have like an easy way to get down here to get into the maintenance tunnels I guess you can call them Everything is like up so high I'll Just put some right here What if I just put a center door <laughs> can I that doesn't actually work you have to crouch into it do I? I I feel like I don't like that hold on I don't like that 
Uh, maybe we'll just do it right there. And we'll just close that off. All right, let's turn our light on. Okay, we can at least get it. Okay, so here is where the power is coming out. So what I need to do is I think I'm going to run that just down this way. There's there's no like requirement for anything, right? Since this is all unseen. So and I know I got stuff up there. Yeah, so maybe I'll just do this. I know I'm going to want power over in this direction. Okay, let's see. So that's where, that's our closest power area right there. How can I, without just kind of straight clipping it through the ground, how can I get from here down? in a way that looks nice. Maybe I run down this. Maybe I bring this window out. No, right. Okay, can you snap, please? Window? So we'll do something like that, maybe. And we'll just get rid of the top one for now. There you go. So you get to see this this design process too. But this is, I mean, this is how I, I think about everything and how I do it all, you know? And then we'll just bring that across. We'll go to my swatch so it blends in. And then now, maybe I can do this. And do something like that. And then we should be at 2400. And I'll probably have to mess with some of the, You know what I can do, honestly? Instead of just messing around, let's go down there instead of just messing around with Mark 1 pumps. Let's throw on the, the Mark 2 pumps. I think we're just trying to do too much with what we got. Yeah, we'll just do it right there. And I would just draw in power from right there. And of course, we're going to swatch this. And we got plenty of head lift. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that was the issue. It looks like we have a little bit more than 22 meters. And the Mark 1 pumps only like to do 20. Right? So we were really just maxing that out. So it's, it's, it's just an issue of having an undersized part. Let's do that. And I still have all these power lines up there. They're, they're pretty much useless now. They, they don't actually do anything. But yeah, you should be the same. But we can also... What we can use them for is to check... How does the grid look now? Look at that. A perfect... So that was the issue. Make sure you have enough head lift. And you'll see we're using 340, 344, 348 megawatts, which is nothing. You know, that's, um, if we do 360 divided by 30, that's 12. Maybe we do 15 biomass burners. You know, we'll easily be able to kind of sustain that. I don't know why some of this isn't colored, but you know. So yeah, that's actually super exciting. So now we have the beginnings of our power plant just chilling. Uh, when I when I get more power shards, do I have any on me right now? No. Uh, we can go, like if we get Mark III miners, well, I'm going to retrofit all the belts to be, that you can see they're already, a lot of them are already Mark III. So Mark III all the way back to the miners. Boom, we just power shard the miners, put more in the miners. Uh, or uh, replace them with Mark 3s. And then we don't need to really change anything here. I can I can power shard these, you know. I could even, hypothetically, these ones would be kind of hard. But I could even add a fourth. Well, I mean, I could probably, honestly, let's see. 
How many can I add? One, two. Okay. So I could add another 120 or 240 water per minute to the whole system or, you know, and, and split the lines like easy. So we, we can expand here without building more machines and just using power shards because with the way the game has changed, power shards have just become kind of free. I mean, they're, they're literally free late, late game. But, you know, we can we can uh, uh, use summer sloops and stuff to make more power shards. And let's check on chat. Chats. What do you got? Ooh, see? Look, Twitch chat. What do you, YouTube chat. Can you can you beat that? <sighs> I mean, I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. I'll take it. But but yeah, chats doing doing good over here. Um yeah, so this kind of this is kind of what the design is starting to look like now. It definitely I, I like that you can see those smokestacks, and I think I might carry this design over to the point where you'll still like maybe you don't see the roof there, but I like the way that these upper areas look with the glass. And I've also been playing around, and you guys will for sure have to let me know what you think. But you might notice like right there. I've been putting the baffles in to make it look like water. Here, let's just get closer and we'll, we'll have to swim. But to make it look like like gates, you know? And I don't know. Maybe I'll just do that on the end or something and then just kind of like put the ramps in there. But I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. It makes it feel like a dam almost, which I, I think that's, that's kind of a cool sight. So... I think to end this episode, let's run up and like actually attach the power tower back to the starter factory so that we can, uh, you know, dive right into building the starter factory in the next episode. Okay, so we have a pretty straight shot, right? I mean, we can see like there's an existing power tower. There's that power tower. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I didn't even attach. I didn't even attach the power towers to each other like to the grid so that power tower is actually doing nothing so let's do that real quick and then the way we're gonna do this is some way that I haven't decided yet uh, maybe I can run that's just straight to the ceiling I think that's I think it's actually pretty decent and we'll just kind of go out as far as we can like that cool now this should have 2400 excellent okay so one of the things I need to figure out is how far I can make this go right like can I hit I can't hit that one so what I need to do is figure out how far can I go so right about here so maybe Maybe this is a, an excellent time to, to look at one of the blueprints I made. And it's going to start with, well, let's see here. Th this is it. This is the uh, blueprint I made, right? So let's slap it down. And it looks, I, I don't know. I, I'm undecided on the looks. But it definitely functions, right? It's just it's just a big old platform with a little observation area. You know, you can kind of the I guess what I wanted to do was set up an area. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to fix the blueprint. But I wanted to set them up in a way where if if I'm zip lining around and I want to land on one, I can have an area where I'm not you know immediately on the ground, even though. They kind of have the the towers on them. I I, I don't know. I kind of like this better. And so the question is: Is this high enough? Because I have I've made a couple things too. I have a six, sixteen meter extension, and I have a eight meter extension. And I'm thinking I'm thinking I want to build this. Somewhere where it's not, where it, it kind of clips into the ground a little bit. 
Like, I don't... I don't necessarily want floating... Well, I mean, I guess I could fix that, right? But... I guess let's just do that. You know? And I'll just do that. I'll do that kind of wherever we need to. I mean, it's fine there. Okay. But then, what I can do is I can take my detached base and just snap it to the blueprint. And then we have plenty of height. You know, it's kind of a dominating structure in the area, which is kind of what I wanted. And I should be able to just extend the ladder all the way down, right? That was kind of the idea on, on why I did it the way I did it. Oh, wait. I wanted that. You know, so we can go up. And now we're just, we're just like in a completely dominating view of the area. So let's put down our power tower. And I do want it to face this way. There we go. And let's just kind of center it in here. How do we like this? I think that's perfect. Now the question becomes, if I have this, can I reach that? Yes. And if I have you, can I reach? Oh, come on. I can't reach that. <laughs> How far can you go? You can go there. You can go all the way. You can go all the way up there. Okay. So, well, that's fine. That's fine, actually. I need, to get, I need to get rid of all this. The end of an era. I know there's more we'll have to get rid of. So I wanted to think about how I was going to do power anyway. So maybe what I'll do. God, haven't been over here in a while. I've been, I've been doing so much work over there. So I want to have... Almost like a dedicated... Well, I mean, maybe I could just take one of those bases and just kind of hang it off the side. Because I can't, I can't get... Like, how far can I go with this? It's like barely not far enough. But we have to design with the idea that this is going away. In fact, I should probably get rid of this right now because by the time we are doing the phase three parts, that's going to be moved. So let's... Let's just do it. Oh, that feels so sad, though. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, first off. <laughs> first off, let's paint over that real quick. Okay. So, maybe then here... Maybe this will be the power tower... Um, does this reach to here? I guess that's a good question. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, so it will reach onto this platform in some capacity. So maybe what I'll do is while we're waiting for uh, the permanent solution... We put that there. But this way, we at least have power into this area. Uh, we'll want to do that, I guess. Oh, no. That's, that's already connected. So we're fine. We're fine. And now we have everything back on with 2580 megawatts. And again, that's 2,400 from the uh, the coal plant, and then the 180 from this, and then this this will be going away and being moved. But yeah, that means we have finally set ourselves up with enough power. And what are we drawing right now? I didn't even look. Max consumption 1,100. So we have 1,250 ish to play with. 
to to build out in here, which is which is a ton. That's that's a ton of power. And uh, yeah, so that's actually this is such a huge milestone. And wow, it, it really makes me excited to start working on all this. Um, I've done a little bit here, and all I've really done is I've started merging these two on a Mark III belt. So that should kind of hopefully give you an indication of how we're going to start using all this in the future. I'm going to kind of do smelter lines here. Uh, this is 240 from eight smelters. So probably only do eight at a time on a Mark. Well, I mean, we're not far off Mark four belts. Let's, let's take a look real quick. Again, the idea is to get up to motors because if we start looking, um, like we want logistics Mark four, right? I need rubber for that. I don't have enough rubber. Otherwise I could totally get it. Maybe it's worth, maybe we should just get this actually. Do I have rubber anywhere? R rubber? Let's see. I have a hot, oh my God. I need one stack of rubber. So I'm going to commit a cardinal sin. And I'm going to buy 200 rubber. Don't think less of me, everybody. But I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it so we can go to the stars. Promotion delayed by X times part value plus fix it stock value. I don't have nearly enough on me. Okay, let me get those parts real quick and then we'll we'll launch this thing. All right, we'll pop the rest in and a uh, boom. Yay! Milestone reached. The transportation of resources can reach new heights of efficiency. With the Mark IV belts and lifts, the truck, but even more importantly, your effort. Handling a large and complicated vehicle like the truck should come easy to a well-trained pioneer such as you. They are an obvious improvement over tractors concerning industrial purposes. Improvements for personal use were not measured. Thanks, Ada. And that's actually a, a huge achievement and milestone because now that we have Mark IV belts, that's 480, which means if we do... 480 divided by 30. That means I could put all 16 of these smelters onto a single 480 belt, which I may end up doing because then it's kind of like one module almost. So 480 belts, I think that's really going to help us kind of unlock our ability here and kind of be able to consolidate things. I, I was even thinking about being able to consolidate stuff like all of this, right? Have all of those iron nodes. I mean, I like the design, but I could have, you know, especially distant ones, all like there's there's like six impure in one area out here. Well, have them all go on to like a, a single uh, Mark IV belt. Boom, no problem, right? So that's kind of why I want to get that. And I'm happy we did. And I think we accomplished actually quite a bit in this episode. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to call it here. Uh, next one should be a good one. We're going to start, you know, we're going to start getting into the the starter base and actually start progressing so we can start getting into oil and all kinds of fuel and all kinds of good stuff. So uh, thank you all so much. I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, I mean, it's been getting a lot of love, so and I'm feeling all the support. So I, I really appreciate it from everybody. And yeah, so with that, we'll see you in the next one.